Y'all are hanged, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 miniseries of Outcast in Remnants, where today we are back here at the BOG Bunker, as at the end of the last episode, we did receive the Paradise Lost quest, where we need to go and talk to Mike McBride and see what in the heck he wants, considering what happened at the end of the last episode. I'm... I feel it may be involved with the potential destabilization of the Commonwealth economy that I have kind of put into motion. Good times! Well, I guess we didn't put into motion. The Mices did. But we certainly haven't helped. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to let's go talk to Mike. See what he has for us today. Hello, how are you, sir? Long time no see. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, Alright. So well, looking for a job. Looking for a job. If you've got one. As a matter of fact, I do. It's a personal matter, though. I need some help tracking down my brother, Gabe. No, oh, that's not what I expected in the slightest from this. Okay. Is everything all right? Is everything all right? You seem upset. Let me explain. No, there's too much. Let me sum up. Oh, okay. A little over a year ago, our dad, Frank, officially retired and headed off to live at the cabin he built up in the hills west of Walden Pond. Nice. But before he retired, dad was working on this crazy project. Hard to explain, really. Gabriel and I didn't understand his obsession with it at the time. We figured Dad would drop it once he retired, but apparently he just couldn't let it go. He was tenacious like that. It's part of what made him such an effective soldier. What Makes happened sense? to him? Eventually, Dad got himself badly wounded by a raider gang when he went out on a recon mission without any backup. Dad's injury hit Gabe pretty hard, and he ended up leaving the Brotherhood to care for Dad up at the cabin, but it was too late. Several months later, Dad succumbed to his injuries, and it seems his passing took a piece of Gabe along with him. Gabe would always check in every few weeks to give me an update and pick up some supplies, but it's been over a month now and no word from him. Okay. I can't take leave right now to head up to the cabin myself, but I'd be in your debt if you wouldn't mind checking in on him. I do like people being in my debt, and yeah, this is really not what I was expecting today. I mean, since we literally got this quest, it popped after finishing up the last quest for the Raiders where we gave them the cap uh, press. I figured it would involve that in some way, shape, or form, but nope. All right, uh, glad to help. No problem. I'd be glad to help. All right, thank you. Give Gabe this book when you see him. He's been looking for a copy of it for years. Okay. White Fang. Cool, let's go check in on Gabriel. Well, hopefully like this is a quick food. mission. Can we potentially fast travel from here up near the pond? Oh, yeah, of course, I don't have a thing. Over there, the Sunshine Tidings. One of my raider encampments. Good times, good times. But yeah, this is definitely not what I was expecting. Hmm. Though who knows? Maybe. Maybe the tides will turn and it will somehow be related in some way, shape, or form. But I, I kind of doubt it now with the whole spiel we just got. But uh, yeah, it seems very strange. We just got that to pop immediately after the last mission could just be a random coincidence maybe it was a timed thing and it, we just happened to hit the timer right as we were finishing another thing but still awkward awkward but all right let's just have a little hop skip and a jump over this way get out the super overpowered pistol good times and go find a cabin all right I'm guessing, though, it's not going to be as simple as going to just find the guy in the cabin. There's probably going to be raiders involved in some way, shape, or form. Quite possibly even the Enclave, maybe, considering that has been a part of this whole overall quest, or uh, mod, rather. Ooh, that's a thing right the crap up there. That's a lot. Hi. That's actually where we're going. Huh. That's... that's your cabin? <laughs> kind of figured it'd be down closer to the water. Wow, that is... That is one heck of a cabin. All right. I approve. Oh, God, let's find a way in. I definitely took the wrong route to this place. I figured it would be by the water. I should have paid more attention to the compass. Oh, God. Up we go. There we are. Fancy. Okay, well, he's got some guns. That's always nice. To oh, his father's grave. Oh, that's sad. Uh, okay. Discovered Gabriel's cavern. Uh, cabin. I about said cavern for some reason. 
All right, where is he at? Seriously, we're up there. There, excellent. Ooh. Hi, how's it uh, going? I haven't killed anyone today. Ha have you not? That seems like an odd opener, but all right. I suggest you stop walking right there. State your name and why you're here, and make your answers good. Oh, <laughs> so that's a no on the hug. Okay, well, uh, the shroud is here. Oh, we're not dressed as the shroud, though. I mean, I'm going to go with this one because it amuses me. So that's a no on the hug? Just checking. <laughs> a comedian, huh? All right. You've got my attention. Well, that works. What is it you okay. Want? I think I have something that belongs to you. Here you go. <laughs> Mikey. Thank you, brother. Dude can find anything. You can relax, friend. Mike asked you to come check on me. I'm yep. glad I could help. It seems like it meant a lot to you. Mike's a good brother, and I appreciate you making the trip. You might want to pay more attention when you're walking, though. I heard you coming half a mile away. I mean, I wasn't that really trying to be stealthy. Critical. But when you're out here alone, you hear everything going on around you. Thanks. I appreciate the warning. Sure thing. I don't recognize you, though. What's your story? Uh, right. Well, let's see. I am with the Minutemen. I have not always been with the Brotherhood. I mean, unless they mean the, the BOG people, because... I mean, I haven't always been with them. But, okay, we'll go with the Minutemen one. If I told you I'm with the Minutemen, would you still want to shoot me? All right, comedian. I know you're here to try to get me to come back to the Brotherhood. Am I? I'm not sure that's the life for me anymore. All that fighting, hey, even if we're on the side of good, what does it get you in the end? Eliminate one enemy, another just takes its place. The Brotherhood believes in a cycle of endless war. Friends die, innocent people get hurt, and the means ultimately become the ends. And for what? In the end, nothing really changes. Well, war, but war never does change. That. You don't want to hear my sob story. Besides, I've got a mission I need to complete while I'm out here. Do you? you feel like making yourself useful? I mean, obviously, because that seems to be where this is going. Uh, let's see. This involve petroleum jelly. Oh, dear lord. Uh, does it involve rescuing idiot settlers? Does it involve a pack room and a handful of singles? Does it involve any paperwork? I'm going to go with this one. Is there any paperwork you need me to fill out first? A list of references? You really don't quit, do you? No. Look. I assume Mike explained to you the basics of why I'm out here. But if you want the full story, you've got to prove yourself first. No, of course you I do. In mind? Before he died, my dad, Frank, kept a journal with all the details of the mission he was working on. Mm -hmm. On the way home from hunting one day, he was ambushed by a group of death claws in a valley south of the freeway over by the Nuka World entrance. Dad got away clean, but dropped his journal and had to leave it behind. If he'd been able to keep the intel in that journal, well, things might have turned out differently for him. Tell me how I can help. The job is head over to Deathclaw Valley, retrieve my father's journal, and then I'll fill you in on the rest when you get back. Okay, simple also, enough. Also, if you bring me back the balls of a mythic Deathclaw for Brutus here, I'll throw in an extra bonus. Good luck out there. Okay, find Deathclaw balls. Really, Brutus? That's what you want? Not bones? All right. You're a strange dog. Strange dog. All right, how far away are we from this? Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, cool. Well, down I can... Okay, it's not letting me jump off here. That probably would have been a bad plan anyway, as I would have broken my ankles. But then again, when don't I in this world? But okay, so we just gotta go kill some death claws. That'll be simple enough with this gun. And retrieve a journal and some uh, death claw balls. Good times, good times. Why does ev... I mean... Uh, why does everyone always want me to prove myself out here? So it's one of the problems I have with RPGs in, in general, I mean, especially Bethesda titles. I am, in this game, the head of the Raiders, the head of the Institute, and the General of the Minutemen. And still no one knows who the crap I am. <laughs> I go to my own settlements and people tell me, you got a shifty look about you there, don't steal anything. I'm like, dude, I run this place, what the hell? Uh... <laughs> okay, all right, let's move on. Just a, you know, standard gripe of pretty much any RPG out there. <laughs> all right, I just wish people would remember who I am. Okay, well, we are almost there. Let's find ourselves a mythic death claw. I haven't seen a single death claw yet. Hey, vicious one! 
Hi, how are you? Ooh, there's a lot of them out here. Hunting time! Alright, well that one's dead. No death claw balls! <laughs> Oh, I guess just from the mythic one is what he wants. Good, I was looking for some action. Well, let's take the, uh, journal there. Oh, yeah, the mythic one's over that way. Cool, cool. Well, I gotta kill this one, though. We're clear. He's down. And another! Oop, he, he, uh, he, he, he changed. All out of gum. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and there we are. Beautiful. I finally had to reload. Oh, there's still some more. Get him, Ash! Oh, Ash is getting torn apart. The there you go. There you go. I've rescued him. Alright, oh, Mythic Death Claw Pulse. <laughs> Alright, let's fast travel back. I mean, it's not far, but still. It's, just, it's the principle of the matter. I had to walk here, I'm gonna teleport back. It's just, it's just simpler that way. Uh, it doesn't mean we have to deal with loading sequences. Oh, I should read the journal before, uh, before we give it over to him. I should take a look at that thing. See what it says. Hmm. I'm curious. What could have changed when the journal? Or that could have helped him. So let us take a look. Was... Oh, God. I think it started with Frank's name, right? Frank McBride Journal. Got it. All right. Encrypted. Uh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't help. Nope. Nope. I don't know why I went that way. Over here. Yo. Something on your mind? Got your stuff. That's it. Hey there. Hey, come on. Welcome back. I see you've got the journal mm -hmm. and dinner for Brutus. I do. It took you a while, though. Really? You okay. I. Yeah. <sighs> Taken care of. I'm not sure I'd call it smooth. I mean, it actually it's was. taken care of. Fair enough. As promised, here's a little something for your effort. Give me cool. a few minutes to decrypt the journal, and we'll discuss the next step. In the meantime, feel free to have a look around and make yourself at home. You made a mistake there. I'm now going to loot all of your things. Well, I mean, oh god, he actually has a bunker down there? I'm at least going to steal his ammo. Don't care about the rad stag meat. You seen the throw cabin on Walden Pond? Is it what? Guy hit the right idea. Why did you just fall out of the sky? <laughs> oh, that's chem lab. Oh, nothing actually work, worth taking here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess we'll head down to his bunker. Maybe there's something worth stealing in there. Alright, hold on a moment. Gotta check for any ammo. You got quite the stock here, buddy! Okay, all right. Well, down we go. Doesn't seem to be anything else in here of value. And most of the stuff are set pieces anyways that I can't loot. Darn. Let's go into his personal little bunker. Now he's got quite the place down here. A little bathroom. Can I take any of that? No. Hi, Ash. How are you? Oh, I saw something. I just, oh, my God. We can steal some of these. Nothing of value, though. Ow. All the things I want, I can't take. The things I can take, I don't want. Hey! Shipments of stuff if you need to build anything. I really don't. Open. Why did it want me to go here? Did he, did he literally just want me to take... I guess because we could use this as, like, a small base of operations. Still, though, I mean... Did we really have to? <laughs> I have multiple bases all over the world here now. <laughs> yep, and nothing of value to steal. Oh, I was wrong. Got some frag grenades out of the deal. All right, we'll back up. See, so yeah, I guess that's just a place we can use. Fair enough, fair enough. I will never, but it's, I guess, the thought that counts. All right, where are you at? Need anything? Yep. Excuse me. Hey there. I've got the journal decrypted. Uh-huh. We need to head over to the area by the docks in South Boston. Really? Uh, do you have any more details? Do you have any more details? Brutus and I are going to tag along with you. If you want the details, here's the relevant intel from my dad's journal. Cool. Grab any supplies you need and we'll head out when you're ready. Yeah, I'm good. Frank's journal added. All right, let's take that. Take a look at that. Frank's journal. 
Missing Gek? Oh, nice. Definitely, definitely not what I was anticipating, though, like I said at the beginning of the episode. But all right. It has always bothered me that none of the vault Tech vaults on the East Coast that I've encountered seem to have been issued a Garden of Eden Creation Kit, or Gek for short. I know, I've always thought that too. Each vault was supposed to have been issued two Geks in order to rebuild after the war. My investigation of this anomaly eventually led to the vault Tech Regional HQ building in downtown Boston. A shipping terminal in the basement there noted that a shipment of Geks had arrived at the docks the day before the Great War broke out. So I've been searching for a Gek in the shipping containers on the docks in South Boston near the General Atomics building. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack, but the thrill of actually finding a working Gek has kept me going. Some raiders, apparently part of a Judge Zeller's gang from East Boston, just moved into the area and appear to be looking for the same thing. I'll need to be more careful. Why would they be looking for? I mean, besides, it's worth a lot of money, I guess. All right, do I have to talk to you to <coughs> first move again? No, we're good. Let's roll. All right, South Boston. Over here. Hey! To the fish packing plant. We actually have a thing close by for a change. You know, I really should ju just do the uh, console command to unlock all the locations, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, so clear across the map. Might take a little while to load. Okay, so we are pretty close now over by the fish packing plant. Usually, oh yeah, I was about to say. Usually, there's super mutants around these parts, and uh, but they weren't spawning. But there they are. Hi. Get them. Time for all of you to die. This and you. All right, so that should be pretty easy. Oh, oh, oh. No, nope, I don't got a shot on him. Hello. Okay, let's make sure we don't accidentally show. Oh, God, are there? There's more people over Ding this way. Ding dong, motherfuckers. Oh, ghouls. There we go. Can't let him die. Let's make sure I don't accidentally shoot him myself with this glorious gun. Well, that led nowhere. Now where did I put Also, my there's ammo. people over there. Oh, that's right. It's inside your skull. Where the? I'm a little lost. Where are they shooting from? Oh, they're freaking up there. <laughs> <I was about laughs> <to say. laughs> All right. I think we need to go up this way. There we go. Beautiful. Now it's over there. For shopping at I think we still gotta go up this way to get to it. Looks like that'll be easiest. And... You. Well, crap, how do I get down there easily? Hoop. Nope. Alright. I mean, obviously, there's gotta be a way up there. It might just... Blind? Yeah, probably blind. Okay, okay, okay. Well, over here. I think we can maybe jump down there to that. But it really looks like there should be a way up to that. Howdy you? Nope, that didn't work at all. There! Yeah, that did not work at all. <laughs> Seriously, how the crap do you get up there? <laughs> Alright, let's... Hop to here. Hop to here. Ah, go! Almost had it. Ash, you're in my way. You are in my freaking way. Let's just move him up. This probably isn't how you're supposed to do this in the slightest, but it's how we're doing it. All right, all right. And jump! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, there is... that. Yeah, that definitely has to be the way up. Otherwise, I mean... Huh. Okay. <laughs> Well, apparently, Blackfinger's terminal. What do we got? My terminal now. Finally figured out how to delete these damn custom entries. What the hell is a harmonized system tariff code anyways? Zeller's got us out here on a pointless Easter egg hunt. Apparently, Cheeto was looting shit over at vault HQ last week when he came across a shipping terminal talking about a shipment of Gex that was held up in customs on the day the war broke out. Can't figure why Zeller is such a hard-on for this Gek thing, but what's really bugging me is when did Cheeto learn how to fucking read? Taught the looter a lesson. Okay. You'd think people would figure out from the hanging corpses and shitty decor that this area belongs to Zeller's army. 
but no. Last night we caught some old guys searching through the shipping containers, trying to loot our shit. Would have gotten away with it too if the dogs hadn't been over there by the docks. We fucked him up pretty good, but asshole had a smoke grenade and used it to get away. Managed to grab his crossbow though. Pretty sweet weapon. Think I'm gonna keep it for myself. Busted Gex. No! We found a shipment of Gex, but they were busted. Took them to Zeller and he was pissed as usual. Says there's another shipment and we need to keep looking. This is pointless. We've searched every single container on the docks. There aren't any more of these Gek things. Zeller says we can't come back, uh, though, until we find him a working Gek or three hookers without herpes. I guess we'll keep looking for the missing Gek shipment. There are a few containers that fell into the ocean behind General Atomic's building. We'll have to dive down and search those tomorrow. Screw this, we're out of here. Fucking super mutant horde just showed up, not sticking around to become mutant food. How do I password protect this thing? You know what? Fuck it, I'm out. Alright, cool. Well, sweet. Gotta go do some diving. And that will be for next episode. So we just now have to find the missing geck out there in the water but that's gonna be it for today i hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next when hopefully we get all that done but for now thank you for watching and as always well actually let's finish this fight at least before we end because i mean come on why do they have to spawn these guys all right oh god i need you to die there buddy there we go he's down there's still another here oh it's a suicider and he's down. All right. Later, folks.